everybody. Today I'm going to show you something extremely useful in every garage or workshop, and that's a nut and bolt thread checker. Now you may have seen something that looks similar to this at your local Lowe's or Home Depot in the fastener aisle, and the reason that they have them is the fact that you can bring in a nut or a bolt, match it up to the correct sizing, and then buy a replacement. Now the reason that I say it's so useful to have at your garage, let's say you work in a lot of vehicles and you deal with damaged fasteners, you can pull a bolt or a nut out, you can go ahead, thread it into the correct size hole, and then you'll know exactly what size you need to replace it with. Now this does internal as well as external threads in standard and metric sizing. So it's pretty much going to cover every single thing that you're going to deal with. And if you deal with things like, let's say, re-tapping holes, you can take a nut or a bolt, go ahead and match it up to the correct sizing, and then you're even going to know what size tap to use. So what I want to do next is really show you exactly how this works, and then we're going to see why it's so important. Here's a closer look at the thread checker, and I do want to point out this is kind of hard to get in one shot because it's over three feet long and it's very thin. But they do have a number of different sizes with this. We have standard sizing, which is going to be the silver ones, and then metric sizing, which is going to be the little black knobs. Now that's going to cover bolts as well as nuts, so you can measure your external threads up here at the top, and then your internal threads down here at the bottom. The sizing is the same, they're just spread out differently. As far as standard sizing goes, it goes from 6-32 all the way up to a half dash 20, and that's going to cover coarse thread as well as fine thread. As far as metric goes, we do have 12 different sizes ranging from M4 times 0.7 all the way up to M12 times 1.75. They do have a tape measure built on the top for standard sizing going from 0 to 6 inches and on the base they have metric sizing going from 0 to 15 centimeters. Now if you've never measured a bolt before you may think you need to measure the entire thing but that's going to give you an inaccurate reading. The actual way to measure a bolt is to measure from the bottom right here at the base of the threads all the way up to where the head starts. So this thin portion is all you're going to measure. You do not include the thickness of the hexagonal head or it's going to throw your reading off. So to show you exactly how to do this, what you'll do is line up the flat portion under the head with the zero mark. And then you can see that this bolt is four inches long. Now I also want to point out the zero mark on this does not start at the very top. So if you did hang that over the top, you can see it would give you an inaccurate reading. If you want to hang up something on your wall but you don't have a stud to screw into, then many times you're stuck using these little plastic wall anchors. You have to drill a pilot hole, tap these in place, and then use the correct size screw to go into them so they'll expand correctly and they won't fall out. Now if you don't use the correct size, let's say I use this very large screw with this very small anchor, it could split it. Or if I'm just slightly off, it would not have the holding power that it's designed for. So what we want to do is actually determine the size of our screw before we use it so we can match those up correctly. On the bottom of this, they do have a screw diameter checker with a number of different sizes. And the idea is not to go in and out of a hole freely, like this number 14 on the bottom. The screw is much smaller than the hole, so it's not a number 14. If I move it up here to a number 4, only the very tip is going to go in. It's not going to thread in at all, and that's much too small. So what you're going to do is line this up with whichever one you think is correct. And what you're looking for is where it's going to go in, but it's not going to go all the way in. So just the tip of it will go in, it's going to be in there straight. At this point, you can go ahead, thread it in place, and what we can do is determine, really, in just a matter of seconds, what the screw sizing is. So in this case, this particular screw has a nice tight fit, and it's a number 10. Here's a specialized suspension bolt off a Honda Accord. Now to replace this OEM from the Honda dealership would probably cost maybe 15 or 20 bucks. But let's say I just want to find out what the thread pitch is so I can find either a replacement bolt or a replacement nut locally, or even just clean it up and see what it is. Now what we'll do is just go ahead and take this wire brush, clean the threads up a little bit. That way there's not going to be any corrosion in them that's going to gum anything up and prevent us from threading it in the correct hole. And I can see right off the bat that it is going to be a 12 millimeter thread pitch. So we have three different choices here. If it was gummed up, I wouldn't be able to thread it down in any one of the three. But to start out, we're going to try with the M12 times 1.75. So we'll take our bolt, line it up, and try to spin it down in there. Now you can see it's going to turn about maybe one and a half or two turns and stop. So that's not the correct thread pitch. We'll back it back out. Thread it down in the M12 times 1.5. Once again, it's going to turn about one and a half turns and then stop. 
And then finally we're going to try M12 times 1.25. This case it's actually going to spin all the way down, which means this is going to be our correct thread pitch. And because this does have standard as well as metric sizing, for things like this grade 8 nut, we can easily find not only the size but also the thread pitch. So lining it up, I can see it is a half inch thread, but to check whether it's coarse or fine thread, which the coarse thread would be a half dash 13, or 13 threads per inch of rod, or a half inch dash 20, which would be 20 threads per inch. We'll go ahead and just line it up. So starting it out with a half inch 20, I'll go ahead and try and spin it on there. It will not even make it one revolution and it won't go on any further. So when I move it over to the half inch by 13, you can see it will spin all the way down. So that's going to be our correct sizing. The only modification that I've needed to make to this is to widen the mounting hole so I can hang it by a drywall screw. Now in order to do that, I did use a step drill bit. And I not only had to drill the front, but also the rear, because this is not a solid piece of steel. So if you choose to do that, and you want to widen that hole, just keep in mind you need to drill out both sides to get it to fit correctly. Because I widened the mounting hole with that step drill bit, now I'm able to hang it by a drywall screw. Now right out of the box, the hole's much too small for a regular screw, and you have to use a very thin nail. But if you do widen that, it makes it really easy to hang it on the wall. So Right here I place the drywall screw. I'm going to go ahead, just slide this right over it now. You can see how it's going to hang in place and really stay completely out of the way. I'm not wasting workbench space or having to lean it up against the wall where it could fall over and get damaged. It's going to stay there until I need to use it. Now many times if I just have a nut or a bolt, I can test that out with it hanging on the wall. I don't have to take it down. But because it's not permanently attached, let's say I need to go to somebody's house and they want to borrow that to test out something that they're working on, I can easily take it down, bring it to where I'm going, and then when I'm done, hang it right back up. So now you've seen the nut and bolt thread checker for yourself. This is something that's extremely useful to have around the garage, and the fact that it can do the internal as well as external threads in standard and metric sizing really make it universal as far as whatever bolt sizes you're using. So this is something that's going to save you from messing up by just guessing wrong. This is actually going to tell you exactly not only what the bolt size, but also the thread pitch is with whatever you're working on. So especially if you're going to retap holes or you want to replace nuts or bolts, you're not going to mess up as long as you can verify what the size is before you change anything out. Now, like I did say at the beginning of the video, these do come in a wide variety of sizes and styles. I prefer this type because it is wall mountable. I don't have to take up space in one of the toolbox drawers or on the workbench. I can just hang this out of the way, and then when I need to use it, I can take it down, match the size up, and then put it back. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.